For those of you who just dropped in, I'm Willy Clement, I'm an instrument maker and musician. And today I'm going to show you how to make a junk PVC overtone flute. So I'm basically doing this for all of you who'd like to mess around and experiment with sound, but some of you might also not have the budget to buy a professional quality instrument. If you're one of those looking for an instrument like that, feel free to visit my website fuyaraflutes.com. Of course, these junk flutes come nowhere near the quality of a real instrument when it comes to sound and playability. They're also constructed in a completely different way. But this being said, they're still a lot of fun to mess around with. So let's go to my workshop. Let me show you two ways to make a junk PVC fipple. Method one, you'll need a PVC tube and a wooden dowel that fits the tube precisely. PVC tube, wooden dowel, iron saw, scalpel or a box cutter and some files. Mark the part you want to cut. Take the loose piece of plastic and bend it to the top and wiggle it until you can snap it off. I forgot one thing, it's sandpaper. You carefully clean the edges to get rid of all the excess material. Please be very careful when cutting PVC pipes with a knife. PVC can react very awkward. Now we have to sharpen this part to make the fipple. The actual angle doesn't really matter, just keep it between 20 and 30 degrees. Make the edge sharp following the round shape of the tube. I prefer a knife doing this. When it's all finished, it should look like this and you don't have to file on the inside of the tube. Just follow the round shape of the tube. Next insert your dowel until you have somewhat of a square, but you can actually play around with this shape to change the character of your instrument. Now we cut the next part of tube that's the exact size of the inserted dowel and cut away about one centimeter. Next just take your small piece, press it on and fipple style number one is finished. Method number two. It's very good for when you have a PVC tube with a thick wall and a wooden plug that's slightly bigger than the inside of the bore. Push in the wooden dowel when the plastic is hot and wait until it has cooled. You can see a slight change in shape where the dowel has ended. Mark this spot for drilling. Make it square using a file or a knife. <clears throat> this time we're going to file underneath the fipple as well. Take your square file and gently file away the right corner of the inside of the tube and file away the left corner of the inside of the tube. So when we work on the outside of the fipple, this time we don't have to follow the round shape of the tube and we can file straight down to make a nice straight edge. Until you end up with something like this. On the inside it should look more or less like this. Then you draw a line about 2 to 3 millimeters from the top of your dowel. Draw two guiding lines straight backwards. About 2 millimeters down from your guiding line, you draw a straight line towards the top. Next we have to remove this top part. You can use a file or a knife. I'll go with a chisel. Make sure you have a straight line or in this case a small curve. Any shape like this would be very bad for the sound. Draw a straight line in the middle of your dowel and on top of your flute. This is for guidance when you insert the dowel. Then we can cut it straight down and remove the extra part to play straight into the fipple and have a Konsovka type whistle. Or we can remove some wood here and play with our lips straight onto the piece of wood like the Scandinavian overtone flutes. Now the windway is opened up and you can play straight into it. Again, this is not how I usually construct my instruments, but just a fast and easy way to get an instrument that sounds more or less okay. Tuning, tuning. Check what note you're closest to. So this one is just above G, so to get it in A, we're going to cut small pieces of the end of the tube until we get it tuned. So the way an overtone flute works is very simple. When you just have an open tube, like this one, just an electric tube, you can play or blow on the edge of the tube, and by changing the pressure, you can play different notes into the natural harmonic system. When you have one with a fipple, you just blow into the windway, and by changing the pressure of the inblown air, the instrument will jump into the natural harmonic series. 
to have more melodic options, you just open and close the end of the tube and you're able to play very simple melodies. So this big one was made using method one, and then I just extended it and put this elbow in it, or I don't know, the official plumber's term for this, to make the end part come back to me, because otherwise I would not be able to reach the end of the flute. And in the end, I have inserted this end cap, which you can buy in every hardware store, in which I've drilled a hole to be able to play with one finger. You could also play with the palm of your hand, but in my opinion, this just sounds better. And that's it. If you're looking for some tips and tricks on how to play these overtone flutes, just check out some more video tutorials in my channel. And if you thought this was interesting, stay tuned for the next one, in which I'll show you how to make a PVC Fuyara.